Hello and Namaste. Today I'm going to show you how to factory reset the Google Home Mini. I'll show you the simple, simple way to factory reset the Google Home Mini. So sometimes if you want to buy or sell them to somebody else, then you might want to clear the, your network uh, and all your privacy. And uh, other thing is sometimes it doesn't take the network. And when you want to, when you go to the new network and want to connect it, uh, the same at the point you might want to factory reset and do it again to connect your new network so i'm going to show you the simple way how to factory reset and connect you connect your home network to the google home mini with uh, using google home app on your phone so let's start as you can see i've already given the power to the google home mini uh, let's check it okay google yeah, as you can see, it's already powered on. Now, for the factory reset, what you have to do is, mm, uh, maybe you have noticed or not, but at the back of this Google Home Mini, they have this small button up here. You look on your device, then you can see there's a small button. So you have to press it for five to seven seconds. You're about to completely reset Google Home. To cancel, release the button. As you can hear these sounds, you have to keep continue to press the button till it makes the noise. So this means it's gonna turn in orange color. Uh, I don't know if it shows orange on camera or not, but it's orange in color and it doesn't make the noise. Now you just have to wait till it goes power off and on back again. It does do it automatically. You don't have to do nothing once you press the button for five to seven seconds. You see it just come back again. Yeah, let's just wait for a couple of seconds. It's, it's still resetting all the all the program, all the all the functions that we have set. So it's gonna totally completely reset your device and it's gonna be completely new mm, from the software point of view. Yeah, as you can see the rainbow colors on your device. That means it's completely reset. Welcome now. to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So from this now, you have to just follow the instruction from the Google Home Mini these devices. So I'm gonna follow the instruction. So as for the instruction, I'm gonna download the app on my device. So uh, yeah, you can go on this phone. You can download the app on your iPhone or an Android phone. But now I'm trying to download my Android phone. Go to the Play Store. It's already up here. Google Home Mini, mm, Google Home install. Uh, it's gonna say take a couple of seconds. Yeah, 16.83 MB is not that big, and you can control your device from your Google Home or your voice control. But for the first time, if you want to set up for different multiple purpose, then you might want to download the app. It's gonna be really easy from the app. Um, yeah, it's already downloaded, but it's trying to install it. Probably gonna take a couple of seconds. Yeah, we're done here. Now let me open the app. Yeah, welcome. Your connect and device is all, it's all in one place. Okay, let's get started. So this is my email ID. So which email ID I want to use? Let's use this one. Okay, that's my real email ID. Okay, I'll just allow when you use this app. Yeah, turn on the Bluetooth. Allow turning the Bluetooth on. But in iPhone, I think you have to do it yourself because in iPhone, uh, it doesn't do it like in the Android phone that is it doesn't give you the options down here. But in iPhone, you have to make sure your Bluetooth is on and your uh, shared your. I think what is that on the next one on the Bluetooth is uh, something we protected to see for everybody. So that you have to turn on by yourself. And Google Home Mini is found, so it, let's do it yes. Your phone or tablet may disconnect from Wi-Fi during the setup. Yep. Uh, what happened during this time is first time when the Google Home Mini devices will be connected on your phone. Then it will, with the help of your phone network, it can connect to your router, so your home network. That's how we connect the Google Home Mini 
to our home network as you can see it's connected and you can hear the sound yeah it's asking me do you hear the sound i did yes and I agree the policy mm, yes i am so you, now where is the this, this, yeah you can set up where the device is somewhere maybe in the kitchen or dining room yeah it's all completely by yourself like it depends on you what do you want to set up so for now i'm in my living room so let's do living room and uh, next so this is my wi-fi home network so let's go connect to your wi-fi this is my wi-fi there you go and remember the password there you go so you don't have to put password every single time now it's trying to connect with the home network via our phone it's completely a easy steps that i'm showing uh, yeah it's already connected now it's going to ask you a couple of questions there you go google partners service and privacy you just have to do it next uh, if you want to set up the uh, different functions like if you want to make it be a please log owner, in through the google home app yeah it's asking you so active voice method your device you can already recognize your voice so let's go keep going on setting agree to voice match agree now you have to give a training to your device so that you can recognize your voice start saving audio so we can do it later on so right now i don't want to do this you get personal result on your voice i agree so it's not completely up to you if you want to do the youtube free like ad free youtube or not but right now i'm not doing it so no thanks so if i say google play music then it's going to play music via um, youtube for me because i don't have no store spotify on the apple music so i'm going to do youtube music next so here is going to give you the radio radio services right now i don't need anything so i'm just doing it next next and next again now i don't need the tv services so yeah it's already saved as a party house speakers that's that's my uh, other speaker if you want to chromecast with it or not it's completely up to you but right now yeah i'm, I'm not just doing it because that's my tv speakers and get started with your voice calls okay let's now start it let's now train the device uh, it's asking me for the phone numbers and all so right now i don't need this one none of the above i just want to skip because i already have it mm, email will be sent to the email again no thanks so almost finished at a payment method. No, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do any of these. Living room speaker is ready. So this is the living room speaker. As you remember, I put this as a living room. So now let's continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Yeah, okay. Let's do. Okay, Google. What's the temperature outside? The current temperature in Shreveport is 51 degrees. By the way, I can give you lots of information about your day. I'll send you a notification with more to try. Yeah, right now I'm in America. I'm in US. So, as you can hear, the Google Home Mini voice it sounds like in British so you can change all your voice assistant you can make it male female and as per your country you can change the accent of your boy google home assistant voice so here i'm gonna do it more and yeah tell me about the day it's just finished later because it can i just checked it out in front of you so it's gonna work for everything now let's try this is a living home living room speaker let's try playing music up here play music now it's gonna play music I think from YouTube. Yeah. I love you, baby. Yeah. As you hear how as you heard the music, once you start playing music, it's gonna go to your YouTube. You which whichever is sign in with the same email account, uh, with the same email. So and it's gonna play the music from your 
uh, either your playlist or from your like videos yes it just you choose the random videos but it will choose something that you already watched or something you already heard and as I told you you can change the voice assistant so here you go on the top of those let me show you one more time I think I went too fast <laughs> yeah so this is the living room speakers you have to go to the speaker first and go to the setting connecting to living room speaker and you have to go to the oh, not here this should be somewhere on your speaker app so go to the setting assistant setting and voice match ever done there you go there you go assistant voice you can do male or female up here here are the voices you can pick for your google assistant if you like like this voice and want me to keep using it just stop here next video i'm going to show you how to make a smart light by yourself using the son of small devices swiss devices so i can show you the demo right now hey google turn on the light all right turning on light so as you see it's just turn on the light hey google turn off the light <laughs> 